Hello students, I am Dr. Tangachan T. Pullen, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. Going to take a class on basics of civil and mechanical engineering. Module 6, Manufacturing Process. This is second part of my presentation. In this second part, I am going to take a class on basic machining operations like turning, drilling, milling and grinding and their applications, CNC machine, principles of CAD CAM, rapid and additive manufacturing. Machine tools. Machining is the manufacturing process by which parts can be produced to the desired dimensions and surface finish from a raw material or a blank by gradually removing the excess material in the form of chips with the help of a sharp cutting tool. Two types of tools are popularly getting used either it is single point cutting tool or multi point cutting tool. There are different type of lathes main types of lathes are central lathe or engine lathe speed lathe bench lathe production lathe can be caption or turret lathe special purpose lathe and automatic lathe working principle the lathe is a machine tool which holds the workpiece between two rigid and strong supports which is called as senders or in a chuck or using a face plate which revolves. The cutting tool is rigidly held and supported in a tool post which is fed against the revolving sender. The point you have to remember is in lathe machine work is revolving and tool is stationary. Principal parts of the lathe are bed. Bed is the base foundation of the lathe, which holds headstock, tailstock, carriage, etc. The bed also provides the required strength and rigidity to the machine. Headstock is mounted on the bed at the left end. Tailstock which is mounted on the bed at the right side. Carriage. The carriage of a lathe serve to support the cutting tool. Carriage is having five major parts. One saddle, second cross slide, three compound rest, four tool post, five apron. The common operations that are performed on a lathe are 1. Facing, 2. Taining, 3. Drilling, 4. Taper training, 5. Boring, 6. Thread cutting. There are different accessories that is used along with the lathe operation. Commonly used lathe accessories are 1. Chuck, 2. Centers, 3. Face plate, 5. Mandrel.
In straight turning, the tool is fed parallel to the axis of the work to reduce its diameter so that the final diameter is the same at each end. Removing a significant amount of material in one pass is called rough turning. The final lighter cut that creates a smooth surface finish is called finish turning. Taper turning produces a taper along the axis of the workpiece. Tapers are produced by offsetting the tailstock from center line or by using a taper attachment. Short, steep tapers can be turned using a compound rest. Contour turning or profiling was formerly performed by having the single point cutting tool trace a template of the desired profile shape. This has largely been replaced by CNC turning, in which the desired contour is simply programmed into the machine, which directs a cutting tool to cut the contour. Forming is another alternative for generating complicated shapes. The tool having the desired form or geometry is advanced perpendicular to the axis of rotation, reproducing the tool shape in the workpiece. Forming is commonly performed on automatic screw machines. Chamfering eliminates sharp corners from a workpiece and is a good safety measure. Typically, chamfering breaks corners at a 45 degree angle. Grooving creates a groove or recess using a tool that is usually the size and shape of the required groove. Some grooving tools can also widen a groove by traversing side to side after plunging into the workpiece. Drilling machine. Drilling is the operation of making holes in a workpiece by forcing a rotating tool called drill against the workpiece. The machine primarily designed to make this operation is called the drilling machine. A popularly used drilling machine is shown in the figure. It is called radiate drilling machine. Principal parts of the drilling machine are base, column, table and drilling head. Base of the drilling machine is a rectangular casting on which the column is mounted. Column is the vertical number of the machine which supports a table. The head supports the motor and spindle is mounted on the top of the column. Table. The table of the drilling machine supports the workpiece or other work holding devices. Drilling head. It is mounted on the top of the column and supports the spindle head and the motor. Operations performed on the drilling machine are drilling, tapping, boring, counter boring and counter sinking. Drilling. It is the operation of producing a circular hole using a drill. Tapping. Tapping is the operation of cutting a thread on a drilled hole. Tool used is called tap. Boring is the operation of enlarging an already existing hole. The job is held on the chuck and is rotated. Counter boring. Counter boring operation differs from the boring in the sense that whereas a boring enlarges a hole for its full length, the counter boring does so only for a small length to accommodate the heads of the bolts, studs, etc. Counter sinking. It is an operation to produce cone shaped enlargement at the end of the hole.
milling machine milling is a process of removal of metal by feeding the workpiece against the rotating multi point cutter things thing you have to remember is here multi points are engaged so each cutter is removing small amount of material by the advancement of the workpiece milling machine can be classified depending upon the spindle position as horizontal milling machine and vertical milling machine principal parts of the horizontal milling machine are 1 base 2 column 3 knee saddle table elevating screw spindle overarm and arbor whereas principal parts of the vertical milling machine are base column knee saddle elevating screw and spindle head if you see the comparison between the two horizontal milling machine is having two item extra items extra compared with the vertical milling machine that is overarm and arbor There are four types of knee and column milling machines that are likely to be found in the machine shop. The ram vertical, the standard vertical, the plain style horizontal, and the universal style horizontal. Shown in the picture here is the ram type vertical, often referred to as a bridge port style. This milling machine has a lot of versatility. It has a ram on the end of the column that will extend and retract towards and away from the column and also swivel around the column. It has a milling head on the end of that ram which will tilt towards the column or away from the column and also will tilt around the column. It also has a knee on the bottom which will be raised and lowered and this will be common to all of the four types of milling machines I've just talked about and on top of the knee is a saddle and then the table. The table will move in the X position left or right. It will also move in and out traversely and the spindle will move up and down as well as the knee moving up and down. In the end of the spindle on this particular model there will be an R8 style milling machine taper which goes into the spindle. The spindle will extend and retract much like a drill press and on the top of the milling head there is a speed selection lever which will allow you to dial the speed in you want once the spindle is turning. This is a standard vertical milling machine and although it is similar to the ram type vertical milling machine this one is more suitable to heavier types of work. This one likely will have power feeds on most of the axes, if not all of the axes, and rapids on them, whereas the ram type vertical not likely will unless it's been added to it. The difference is with this one is it does not have a ram on top of the column. And other than that, if you have a look at the spindle, it takes a standard milling machine taper typically, and a C-style arbor goes in it. In other words, the arbor has a cutter on the end of it and will be quite short in length. This is a horizontal milling machine, and this particular model has the standard milling machine taper. It has all the features of the vertical milling machine we just had a look at, but it, instead of having a ram on top of the column, it has what is called an overarm and then it has an overarm support. You can see it on the back of the column. When the overarm is extended in front of the column towards the table, the overarm support would then go in the position on the end of that ram, and then we would put an arbor in the spindle. And it'll likely take either a B-style arbor or an A-style arbor, although it could take a C-style arbor. The A and B-style arbors are quite long and are supported both in the spindle and by the overarm support on the other end with the cutter being in the middle. This one is very handy for doing helical milling 
on gears and things like that. And you can see the shroud at the far end of the table there, which can be geared to the lead screw of the milling machine table in order to advance the work being held in a dividing head in order to cut a helical gear. What makes this uh, either a plain style milling machine or a universal style horizontal milling machine is the table. If the table swivels, it is a universal horizontal milling machine rather than a plain style horizontal milling machine. Having a closer look between the saddle and the table of the horizontal milling machine, you can see that there is a protractor on the front of this one. In other words, the table will swivel off of being perpendicular to the spindle, right or left. This makes it a universal horizontal milling machine. This is also a horizontal milling machine. Please notice that it has a vertical milling head attachment bolted to the front of the column in order to mill in the vertical position. Also note that the overarm is pushed back out of the way so the vertical milling head attachment can be bolted to the front of the column. This is a close-up of the vertical milling head attachment. This one will have a standard milling machine taper in it. It also will articulate in a couple of different positions around the column. And you can see the scale on the side. Grinding machine. Grinding is a process of metal removal in which cutting tools are used is a abrasive material. Here we can say one way it is a multi-point cutting action taking place. Abrasive material that are used can be bauxite, diamond, of mostly mineral material also will be used for that purpose. These abrasive particles are bonded by a bonding material together the, to the required shape. There are different type of grinding machines. First one is cylindrical grinding machine. In this, cylindrical grinding produces cylindrical surfaces on a workpiece. Both the tool and workpiece are rotating. That is what the specialty of this. Both the tool as well as the workpiece is rotating. And each is will be having separate motor that will be working at different speeds. Second is a surface grinder machine. It is basically used for producing flat surfaces. The basic machine has a grinding wheel above the work area which can be fed downward in a very small increment into a workpiece. This workpiece will be moving left and right, reciprocative motion. 3. Form grinding Form grinding is a specialized type of cylindrical grinding where grinding wheels are exactly the shape of the final product what we are looking for. The 
type of grinding machine based on the type of the grinding can be further classified as surface grinding machine internal grinding machine cylindrical grinding machine tool and cutter grinding machine next video will have a overall view of the working of this type of grinding machine Grinding is an abrasive machining process that uses a grinding wheel as the cutting tool. Abrasive An abrasive is a material, often a mineral, that is used to shape or finish a workpiece through rubbing which leads to part of the workpiece being worn away by friction. Grinding machine. A grinding machine, often shortened to grinder, is any of various power tools or machine tools used for grinding, which is a type of machining using an abrasive wheel as the cutting tool. Each grain of abrasive on the wheel's surface cuts a small chip from the workpiece via sheer deformation. Grinding wheel. A wheel used for cutting, grinding, or finishing metal or other objects, and typically made of abrasive particles bonded together. Different grinding wheels are selected on basis of their properties, shape and size. Plain cylindrical grinding machine. The plain cylindrical grinder is a type of grinding machine used to shape the outside of an object. The cylindrical grinder can work on a variety of shapes, however the object must have a central axis of rotation. Universal Cylindrical Grinding Machine Universal cylindrical grinder is similar to a plain cylindrical one except that it is more versatile. In addition to small work table swivel, this machine provides large swivel of head stock, wheel head slide and wheel head mount on the wheel head slide. Internal grinding machine. This machine is used to produce internal cylindrical surface. The surface may be straight, tapered, grooved or profiled. Surface Grinding Machine This machine may be similar to a milling machine used mainly to grind flat surface. However, some types of surface grinders are also capable of producing contour surface with form grinding wheel. Tool and Cutter Grinding Machine Tool grinding may be divided into two subgroups, tool manufacturing and tool resharpening. There are many types of tool and cutter grinding machine to meet these requirements. Simple single point tools are occasionally sharpened by hand on bench or pedestal grinder. For more videos do like share and subscribe our channel. CNC machines. Computer numerical control or CNC machine tool is having a dedicated computer to prepare and control the operation 
of the machine tool. CNC machines can be used as a standalone unit or it can be used as a network of machine. The controller uses a permanent residing program called a part program to process the cores into electrical pulses that control the machine. Basic components of a CNC machine are input device, part program, machine control unit or MCU, machine tool, driving system, feedback system, display unit. The working is input from the input devices mostly in the form of a part program will be coming in machine control unit or a central computer. After processing the input program, required commands will be fed to the driving system which controls the machine tool. Once the machine is doing the required function, a feedback will be coming to the again back to the machine control unit and all this activity can be monitored through a display unit. So advantage of using a CNC machine are it ensures a high accuracy in the manufacturing, it reduces the human error storage of more than one part program is possible. CNC permits a part program to be edited while it resides in the MCU computer. Short production time, greater manufacturing flexibility. Here you can see different type of CNC machine. First one is a CNC training machine with two axes. Second, you can see a machinist center with three axes and multiple tools. Third, you can see a five axis integrated Milton center. Bottom, you can see example of a workpiece that is being carried out in an integrated Milton center. Very complex jobs where the finishing is required in multiple axes. Complex machine like integrated Milton senders are being used. In straight turning, the tool is fed parallel to the axis of the work to reduce its diameter so that the final diameter is the same at each end. Removing a significant amount of material in one pass is called rough turning. The final lighter cut that creates a smooth surface finish is called finish turning. Taper turning produces a taper along the axis of the workpiece. Tapers are produced by offsetting the tailstock from center line or by using a taper attachment. Short, steep tapers can be turned using a compound rest. Contour turning or profiling was formerly performed by having the single point cutting tool trace a template of the desired profile shape. This has largely been replaced by CNC turning, in which the desired contour is simply programmed into the machine, which directs a cutting tool to cut the contour. Forming is another alternative for generating complicated shapes. The tool having the desired form or geometry is advanced perpendicular to the axis of rotation, reproducing the tool shape in the workpiece. Forming is commonly performed on automatic screw machines. Chamfering eliminates sharp corners from a workpiece and is a good safety measure. Typically, chamfering breaks corners at a 45 degree angle. Grooving creates a groove or recess 
using a tool that is usually the size and shape of the required groove. Some grooving tools can also widen a groove by traversing side to side after plunging into the workpiece. Today on this machine right behind me, we have taken that Autodesk software and we programmed this amazing bald eagle. We're cutting metal right on this machine right now. And this is a work of art. This is not just a big old heavy chunk of aluminum. You guys have seen me make all kinds of parts for different industries, but today we're doing it just because we can to show you how these machines, they can make anything and they're awesome. The machine, the relationship with that cat cam, anything you can think or dream up, we can make it. Titan America is an American job shop. I started this company back in 2005 to serve American industries, from the subsea industries up to the aerospace and everything in between. Let me explain what a job shop is. There's a lot of companies that build specific parts for their industry or their product. A job shop has to be able to do everything. Engineers come to us with a product that they designed and we bring it to life. We use these CNC machines to mill out plastic, aluminum, steel, titanium, ink canal, carbon fiber, whatever materials that you can think of we can machine. These machines are incredible and they are my work horses. They get the jobs done. This is where we take the raw stock, put it into the machine, use a CAD CAM system like the Autodesk Inventor HSM that I use. We use that to program the machine. We use tools to cut the metal and then we bring out a finished component that goes through additional processes and then out to the customers. These Haas CNC machines are actually being built right in Oxnard, California, right down Highway 5 down in Southern Cal. Back in 2005, when I started my company, I was invited down to Haas Automation and I went into this facility not really knowing what to expect. And when the doors opened, I saw 1.5 million square feet of manufacturing. I saw tape on the floors, clean desks, inspection equipment, processes put in place, uniforms, American flag, pride, ingenuity. I saw it all happening in real time down at Haas Automation. This really opened my eyes. For somebody like me who was homeless, who was in prison, who had to overcome obstacles to start my own shop and started with nothing, this was the education I needed. I left off, I came up here, and I went straight to uniforms. I put tape on my floor. I straightened my desks up. I straightened up my processes. A lot of people look at me and they're wowed, but I'm just an average American job shop. We're not the biggest, but we're really good at what we do and we build some amazing products. On the other hand, I look at companies like Haas Automation. These are the guys I gain inspiration from. Haas Automation continues to push that envelope and America has a history of always pushing the envelope. The American Bald Eagle was chosen as the country's bird for specific reasons because of its long life, its strength, its majestic beauty. It represents hope and prosperity for a better future for tomorrow. It represents everything great in this country. This is American pride, it's American manufacturing, and we're just getting started. Boom.
Computer Aided Design and Computer Aided Manufacturing CAD CAM Computer Aided Design or CAD can be defined as any design activity that involves the effective use of computers to create, modify or document any engineering design. CAD involves creating computer models both 2D or 3D models of physical components. It is defined by geometrical parameters. CAD also uses to have conceptual design, layout of products through analysis of strength and assemblies to define manufacturing methods of the components. CAD system enable designers to view the object under a wide variety of representations and to test these objects by simulating real world condition. It is having wide range of application in automobile where the changes are very fast. Computer aided manufacturing or CAM refers to an automation process which accurately converts the product design and drawing or the object into code format readably by the machine to manufacture the product. CAM systems are associated with computer numerical control or CNC system. CAM complements the CAD system. A CAM system controls the manufacturing operations like milling, training, etc. The advantage of using CAD CAM short manufacturing lead time, eliminating the costly mistakes and waste, adapting to the design changes. Easily you can develop and edit 2D and 3D images. CAD CAM functionality allows you to track the job from beginning till the end.
rapid and additive manufacturing rapid manufacturing are being developed as an alternative to the subtractive manufacturing process making a solid object traditionally was involved a series of processes using a variety of tooling and machine and it usually takes anywhere from weeks to months these approaches required skilled operators using material removal or subtractive processes by machining and finishing operations are done one by one until the solid object is being completed to in order to reduce all this complexity has developed the rapid manufacturing process this method is unique in that they add and bond material in layer to form the objects these systems are also known as additive manufacturing three dimensional printing layered manufacturing like different names rapid and additive manufacturing can be typically produces models in few hours several rapid and additive manufacturing techniques are being developed and commercially available some of the processes are stereolithography or sl fused deposition modeling selective laser sintering laminated object manufacturing etc general steps in rapid and additive manufacturing are develop a cad model then translation of the geometrical model in translation what it mean is developed 3d cad model is translated and converted into files that are required for rp processes translation is piecewise approximation of surfaces of 3d cad model using series of trial the common translation format used in rapid prototyping is called stl or standard triangulation language third step is slicing of the model into layers in this step model in stl file format is sliced into closely spaced parallel horizontal layers what is additive manufacturing additive manufacturing also known as 3d printing is a process that creates a physical object from a digital design an engineer designs the object using computer aided design or cad software The 3D design file is then sliced into thin layers and uploaded to an additive manufacturing machine. The manufacturing process begins once an extremely thin layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. A heat source such as laser or electron beam then melts the first layer of the 3D design. The platform is lowered and another layer of metal powder is spread across the platform. The layering and melting process is then repeated until the part is complete. The metallic powder is removed and a physical object is revealed. Additive manufacturing allows you to produce parts that are lighter, stronger, and more durable than traditionally made parts. Build times are faster. Engineers can add precise features and complex geometries without increasing cost. In fact, additive manufacturing is revolutionizing the way we work. Additive manufacturing, uh, also commonly known as 3D printing, 
uh, is a process that allows you to create physical three-dimensional objects directly from a computer design file. Uh, one of the most exciting things about additive manufacturing is it allows you to innovate quickly. You can try uh, designs over and over and over again and, and actually test out a physical printed part at the end of your design cycle when you typically would simply have one chance at making a functional part. Uh, there's a whole wide range of materials that are currently being uh, used in 3D printing, including polymer composites, uh, metals, ceramics, uh, and other uh, much more exotic materials like foams, gels, uh, and even uh, living tissue in certain cases. Uh, we've 3D printed a wide variety of different objects, uh, from large things such as houses, uh, all the way down to um, functional nozzles and um, heat exchangers for industry, all of which were enabled by the flexibility, uh, the speed, and, uh, and the new designs that 3D printing allows. The Advanced Manufacturing Office partners with Oak Ridge and other national laboratories alongside industry uh, to help solve some of the more fundamental science-based problems that are presented with 3D printers today. Uh, and our main goals are to improve the energy productivity of U.S. manufacturers, improve the competitiveness of U.S. manufacturers, uh, and also provide opportunities for high-paying, high-impact jobs in technology.